Et al. Adnan is a painter, a poet, a writer, um, an essayist, uh, and of course a visual artist. She was born in Beirut in 1925. The exhibition that we have at the Serpentine is a survey show that covers work from the early 1960s up until the present day. The first group of works that you come across when you enter the gallery are a group of four large-scale tapestries. They're probably the largest works in the exhibition and they come from a series of drawings, tapestry designs specifically rather than pre-existing drawings or paintings that she made in the late 1960s and early 1970s, prompted by a nostalgia for the tapestries and carpets of her childhood in Beirut. And the first room that you enter to the left of the um, front door of the gallery is a series of paintings and drawings from the 1960s to the 1980s. They cover a period in which she was very much experimenting with colour, with form. But what's immediately apparent in these paintings and throughout the rest of the show is her interest in the tension between architecture, landscape, abstraction and colour. There's a second section of the exhibition which focuses on two areas of her production, half of which has leporellos, and the other half of which is a whole series of paintings and watercolours that focus on mountains and mountainous landscapes as a nod to her obsession with this one mountain called Mount Tamalpais in California. It was my point of reference. It was like a pause. That when I saw it, I felt at home. It was a, a, a point de référence. It, was, it had something to do with a landmark that orients you, not physically, but emotionally also. A leporello is an accordion-folded notebook. The leporellos that we have uh, treat uh, the two elements of Etel's use of them. One that is purely visual in two landscape leporellos that show painting and ink on the paper of landscapes. And the other one which is the introduction of text, of calligraphy. And she has, uh, in the ones that we are showing, selected a number of different poems by contemporary Arab poets and has transcribed them within her notebooks along with colour and with her own symbolic designs. There's also one leporello which includes two short poems by Etel which talks about her relationship to trees, to nature, to light and shade. The sort of last exterior section of the exhibition is a gallery of works uh, from 1995 until 2014. These paintings are much smaller in scale than the earlier works. They still have this interest in the tension between what is an abstraction and what is a recognisable landscape. And some of them are composed around red squares and some of them are composed around horizon lines and things that could be suns or moons. I had to make an effort sometimes not to start with a red colour. It's my instinct. I don't know why I need that there. And then it started. But very often I make an effort, otherwise it would be a red square in every one of them. I like red. For some people it's the colour of blood, but it's not my idea. And blood has a beautiful colour. It's only that we link it to surgery and, and war. But it's, red is a nice... I don't know even if it's night. Nice. I think it's a colour that gives you an uplift, very simply. It keeps you... Of course, if you had a whole red room, you go crazy, so... In the first brick space that you encounter at the heart of the gallery, there are a number of leporellos, four, and two large screens. It's probably the only space in the whole gallery that is in black and white. Everything else is incredibly colourful. And it's also the only space that shows works that directly depict cityscapes. Everything else is a kind of natural landscape, or as I said, uh, a kind of abstraction of a natural landscape. The last group of works that you're likely to come across are a group of 20 works that she painted specifically for this exhibition called The Weight of the World. There's a sense of great, I think, playfulness. The idea that colour and form and a very simplistic approach to a composition can yield great results and give forth uh, great energy. And I think that's true of these works that she's made even as recently as this year.